is Make America Dinner Again? Make America Dinner Again is a dinner series where we bring people of different political perspectives together over dinner to begin to build an understanding. I'm Walt Shefflo. I'm a lawyer in San Mateo. I've been a Republican all my life, and I voted for Trump. Hey, Min, how are you well, doing? Good to, see you, good, to see you. Yeah, good to see you. Come on in. Thanks. I'm Min Matson. As a transgender Korean adoptee, I'm the chair of the board of directors for a transgender organization, Transgender Law Center. I think there are very few similarities between Walt and I. Discrimination is a real thing. If you're against discrimination and then you do it yourself. I don't personally agree. I don't even understand men's political philosophy, to tell you the truth. I just don't get it. Um, but I'm trying. There has historically been discrimination in this country against people of color. How do progressives, how do they think they're better than the prior racists who practice discrimination on the basis of race? To support Trump is representative of a set of values that just simply is not aligned to mine. So at the dinner table with my family, we decided we're not going to talk about this because we simply just can't, we don't know how to discuss this. I think that there certainly are fundamental differences, but I, I also think that at the core of people, the vast majority of people hold a lot more similarities than differences. We all agree that we care about our families. Yeah. We all agree that we care about the people that are closest to us. If I could just quickly respond to that. As I'm sitting on this table and I listen to how, you're, how you, your views are on immigration, if I put myself in your shoes, now I can all of a sudden somehow visualize and see the world through your lens. Maybe now I can have some kind of understanding. Yeah, let me, uh, Naomi, there wasn't one thing you said that I disagree with. Okay. I agree 100% with it. I think we've had dinners in about 20 different cities now. That's right. You call this MADA, and I guess it's a reaction in some ways to uh, the kind of polarization that Make America Great Again has created in this country. Uh, Make America Dinner Again is back to the basics. It's not some difficult concept of what is great, what makes us great. It's just let's make dinner and let's talk. We see at this table people from both sides of the aisle talking. How could the country benefit? Dinners like this have helped me train my brain into like, how do we discuss these topics without having these conversations end like in tragedy? And I suspect everybody who's participated in a, a Make America Dinner Again um, discussion walks away with it. Maybe not a different political view, but a different view of people. I think that that is really valuable. People have to be willing to step out onto that ledge and get ready to have that discussion first. We're the ones who have to do this, not government. It's us. We can solve these problems and bring ourselves together. If you sit and talk to somebody and you don't know their politics and you don't talk about politics, mm -hmm. there's a good chance you'll like them, even if yeah. your politics are completely different. Yeah. Right. And I think that happened to Ben and I. For sure. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And what do you and Walt bond over? The very first time we really bonded, it was over the fact that we're both fathers. Huh? I love you. It's a, a difficult thing to raise kids, and it takes a, a particular commitment to do it. It's a very positive for him, and I'm impressed with it. I think we both saw that we were traditionally opposite. And the idea that we could come together and have dialogue that is meaningful is a point to bond. I think it's a te natural tendency of people to not concentrate on what they agree on, but what they disagree on. And then it just gets blown out of proportion sometimes. Do you feel like Americans have more in common than they think? Yeah, like 99%. Yeah. What's great about this kind of forum is we get a chance to say, maybe it's not right or wrong. Maybe there is a why behind that that can help us meet in the middle to say, let's just talk about the issue aside from the judgment. It's redefining what it means to have political discussions at the dinner table. Thanks again. Great to I'm see so you. glad I did too. Hi, I'm Michael Koenig, host of More in Common. Eating dinner alone tonight, but want to welcome you to the table. We've got a great conversation going on this Facebook watch page. Over a thousand comments. We're reading them and looking for the next good story ideas. So if you know people who are coming together, let us know in the comments below, or we have a new community group as well. So we want to be actively engaged with this community, this group that's forming around More in Common. Thanks so much for watching and staying engaged. Now back to my lonely dinner and reading your comments. I'm Michael Koenigs, the host of More in Common. And if you have a story idea, be sure to comment below and subscribe for our next episode.